Yo, what is going on YouTube? It is OG and today we are back. So I just finished uh, the ESL Brawl Stars for... First place was 18,000. I guess the rest doesn't really matter. I think it's like 50,000 prize pool or like something like that um, for NA. But it's a pretty significant tournament. So we did play the finals today. Now, Zara isn't, we actually, okay. Zara isn't on our team for this. Toonie's in Tunisia. Alex playing with me and Bobby uh, for this for this video and the next video. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna go over the semifinals and we're playing against Tribe, so obviously you guys already know about Tribe. Really, really good team. And yeah, let's get into the games. All right guys, so unfortunately, I mean, it would've been a long video anyways, so I don't mind too much, but I don't have the first set, which we did win. It was on Super Stadium. And I think we did win two to one i think yeah it went to three games we won two to one so this is the second set actually so we're gonna be starting a little late and um the bands are i want to say gene bell and then sprout and i forget the last one sandy sandy it's kind of irrelevant but uh those are the bands so um Stu's new gadget is in play it's super broken you can see cory popping here right there cory's gonna kill alec as well um I really don't like our comps for uh, this entire set, actually. It's kind of, I don't know, just not very good. And I feel like Jesse versus Amber is kind of like a really crappy matchup for uh, the Jesse. I think Amber has a bit of extra range, and obviously you have to like try poking and stuff, but you can just green button like that and, uh, you know, just kind of run you down and then throw his oil everywhere. And you can just see we're getting like demolished this game. Uh, so I'm trying to like, go through mid. And I think I've only hit Zula in like twice or something so far. So it's like going really bad. But I think Alec is kind of like Corey is outplaying Alec this game. And I think the only one that's kind of going even is like Bobby. I don't think he's getting outplayed. Uh, but just the other two lanes, they're not going too good. So um, yeah, he's going to get pushed back there. But I think overall, like Bobby did fine on his lane this game. Uh, it was just more me and Alec. So uh, Corey's going to go forward there and. You can just see, like, <laughs> it doesn't even, like, it looks like we're, like, just, like, randoms at this point or something. So, I think part of it was the comp. Like, I really don't like the Jesse into Amber matchup in, like, a very straight line. I think it's kind of troll to pick it. But, uh, let's go into game number two. Alright, guys, so game number two. Um, now, they do have Penny this game, which it's good into roughs, obviously. And I feel like B's obviously fine into it in lane. But Tyrant does the right thing, and he sees that it's B, so he's just going to go through mid, and then it's like more like just poke and like blind fire and stuff. But I think there's a big misplay coming up, and I can just kind of like... So, once Penny gets turret, we're kind of like, we don't have a good way of dealing with it. So I don't really like this play coming up right here, you guys will see it in a second. But Bobby also, like Amber Lane... I should be on the Amber preferably because I can deal with it and it wants to play through lane. But I don't really like this. It just kind of gives Penny free turret. And then it's there in the corner and like Bobby does a good job. Like he's doing fine in his lane again. I think my lane was, I think that's just kind of like, that was not good. Um, so you can just see they have, we don't have a long range wall break. Our only wall, I guess dog wall break. But you don't want to waste the power up and it's also hard to get. So Alex is going to get taken out again. So I feel like the only chance we have is if I go up left side and, you know, I kill Zulan and maybe Corey. But Zulan, Corey, they're both really good players. Uh, so Alex is going to break the wall there and we are pushing back a little bit. So we do manage. The swap was definitely a good idea. But once again, we don't really have any means to take out that penny turret. Alex is going to, like, unless we get a wipe, like he has a suicide for it almost. And he has another one ready. So it's not even like that big of a deal, but I'll predict where Corey's dashing and I'll take him out there as well. Got my 3k ready. So here it actually looks a little decent. Obviously it's a big margin that we're behind. I'm gonna get my gadget out and um, fortunately Alec does get taken out over on the right side there and Bobby's gonna hit a good shot on Corey, get him pretty low. But you know, this I have to keep in mind that the Penny turret shooting me this entire time. So it's just, really hard to dodge how you want when there's a penny turret locked onto you uh but bobby's doing good i think i'm doing fine until then but we just kind of I, I don't like our comps like i was the one that suggested b and i think it's fine if i get on the amber but it was a good call for them to go penny because again we didn't have like a long range wall break uh if we did it would have been a lot better but also like just kind of like they got the penny turret right away it's supposed to be a struggle for them to get it right so I feel like that was kind of a misplay. 
Uh, but we're gonna get demolished in Hot Zone, and I promise it's not an accurate representation of how like the set went. The first one was good. The first one was good. All right, guys. Um, set number three technically, so it's one one. Remember, we won Super Stadium, but it's not in the video unfortunately. Here, I kind of wanted Stu to go mid because Stu mid is kind of a thing here. Byron mid against Piper, it's not very good. Uh, so I was gonna like heal the Stu uh, just to make him more tanky and stuff. But um, you can see that Bobby's doing fine on his lane. Uh, like, it's all kind of even at this point. But once Zulane gets positioned, it's going to be really tough. And also, Bobby pinched over way too much there. So Tyrant just kind of walked up and put his bags for free. But, I mean, at this point, like, it's kind of even, I guess. They have a power-up already, though. And, like, Corey's going to hit a good shot on me. Uh, so it's really up to Alec to make something happen. And Bobby, I guess. Uh, Byron, it's definitely a support brawler. And... Byron vs Piper, you get hit once and then you just get curveballed. Especially like if I take any damage, he can just curve me because he has the treat or the dog power up. So you guys probably don't know the lingo for it. Um, but you can see Corey's gonna hit some good shots. He almost one shots me actually. If that was if I was further back, he'd one shot me because he does have the bush star power and uh, also he's powered up once again. Um, so it's just kind of rough me going for mid because I have Zulin shooting me the whole time too. Um, so again we're getting dominated <laughs> i didn't realize how bad this looked like hot zone yeah it felt really bad this game felt bad but after this it starts feeling a bit better um so alex doing some good wiggles there but it, they're all like juiced up at this point and um it's just kind of like doomed i think so i'm just gonna get taken out bobby's gonna go try something and um i think he gets zulan kind of low yeah zulan's pretty low but they're just gonna hang on we would have got the reset but Again, it's tough getting out of spawn, and yeah. Alright guys, game number two of Gem Grab. So, we always kind of... Zulian is very good at Rico, first off. So, if you play Dog against Rico, I think it's very losing lane. Even though you have the bags and stuff, the Rico gadget is just really broken right now. So I was like, okay, you know what? Just let me match him on Rico. Like, I promise I won't lose lane. Like, I won't win lane because I'm on bad side. Um... But as long as I don't hard lose lane, like you can see last game, like Zulan just kind of carried, honestly. Like Corey played good too, Tyrant played good. But the Rico is just so annoying. Um, and there's not really a lot of counterplay for it. So I'm just like, okay, I'll just mirror it. Um, even if it's bad side, like I think Bobby can win mid and, you know, Alex on Stu. And I think he can win his lane too. So Stu's new gadget is very good. Even if it's like dog, like once the bags are gone. I think it's uh, definitely in favor of Stu, even though they have the scaling on their side, I guess. But you can see me and Zulan, like, he can't really go super aggro this time, and all I have to do is try not to die and just trust in my teammates here, because, again, I am on bad side, so I just want to, like, make sure that I don't lose position and let him get into that one really aggro spot. So I think Alec almost... Oh, nice. So he does take him out, and I do die there. So I got pinch from Corey. That was a good pinch from them. But because I am Rico, I can slowly force Rico out. So he knows he can't stay in the spot that he would if I was any other brawler. And he's forced to back off because of it. So Bobby's going to hit a curve there, just get Corey low. And I think I go for Corey here because I know he's around there and I see Bobby hit him. So yeah, I get some good bounces on Corey there. And we'll take them out. Alex's going to do a good job dashing in. And so, yeah, good shot from Bobby there to get him low, and then I'm just able to finish him off. Now we just have to hold on and just not go back too far because they do have a, like, Rico so they could team wipe potentially. But I'm gonna get uh, my gadget out and I'll just, like, kind of clean up at that point. It's pretty straightforward. They just come to you, you hit them. Alright guys, so game number three now. The set is 1-1. One, one. Uh, so kind of the same strat, like, I just want to keep Zulan at bay. Because I feel like he's definitely the carry on this map for them. Um, and I can just trust in Bobby doing that. So Bobby is going to take out Corey right away. Alex going to dash right in on Tyrant. Just that new gadget is so disgusting. I hate Stu with a passion. Uh, thank you Zara for being on my team and being Stu. Um, but you can see Alex going to do a good job. And I'm just like... He has the bounce he went on so he wins trades too. Uh, if we're like just hitting the same amount of shots, but it's not really about winning lane for me Like I just make sure like I regen and I don't like hard lose lane 
and I save some of my gadgets for the end. So Alec is gonna go down on the other side. Try or sorry, Tyrant is gonna get a treat over to Cory, which is a pretty big deal. But I guess it just makes Piper's kind of tankier. Like it doesn't interact the doesn't affect the interactions too much for Piper versus Piper. If you're in grass, it's still like two tap pretty much. Um, so we gotta get Tyrant out of there. I'm gonna use my gadget there. It was kind of like a little awkward, but um, you know, I just want to regen so I'm healthy. I don't want to die like I did last time to Cory. He had a good shot on me last time. Uh, so Cory is gonna curve there. And luckily for us, it's gonna miss. So that's gonna enable Bobby to push up a little bit. I gotta get Rico out too. Bobby's gonna be one shot, so we gotta play it slow. And I'm gonna pop my other gadget there and just kind of go for Zulin here. So he's gonna pop his last gadget, I think. And now I just have to dodge that super, and I get Zulin pretty low, so he's gonna have to back off. Never mind, he had one more gadget. Bobby's gonna curve Cory just to get some position back, and you know, Tyrant's kind of being a pain over there, but we can almost just ignore him and take them on in the 2v2. So I think I do kill Zulin there, yeah. So I get good positioning, and I kill Zulin. I also get Cory kind of low. Bobby's gonna hit a shot, and they're just gonna kind of like have to retreat. Besides that, Tyrant's done a really good job getting into position. Bobby's got to get that gem and get out. He's got to be careful of Cory as well. So I get Tyrant pretty low. He actually kills me with the super there. So we'll play for Tyrant. And we just need one gem, and it's gonna spawn on our side. Thank you for fixing the gem plans, Brawl Stars. Thank you so much. So Alec can go aggro for that one. Uh, we just gotta make sure we don't get wiped by Zulin. I'm gonna take Cory out. Bobby's gonna take out Zulin, and we will take the gem grab set. So that was a really good set, and I think both teams played really well. All right, guys. Uh, so we are up two to one right now. Uh, just a reminder again. I don't have the first set because I played Power League to warm up. Uh, and you're gonna see me abusing Spike's new gadget and curveball. It feels really nice that Spike's viable and competitive again. So I think Spike's new gadget, it's essentially like the bags for dogs, but you get a heal at the end, so that's, you know, you'll take a heal if you can get it. Bobby's gonna get a good curve on Cory as well, and we're gonna win our lane, and Alec did, like, Alec just, I think he got a, I think he got his bolt, so that's gonna enable us to get, uh, first bot. So we'll play by Alec there as well. I'll take out Cory with some curves. And we're gonna get a bit of damage here. So Bobby's just gonna wall break and we actually chip it down pretty good for factory rush, which defense is usually like really easy. Uh, we did a really good attack for such a small bot. And yeah, we're just gonna have to like hold our lanes here. Cory's doing a good job just poking out Alec there. Zulan is gonna hit Bobby and push him back. But Bobby's gonna curve him there, so I did manage to curve him once. You guys can see right side, or left side, sorry, where we are. <laughs> it's kinda a little boring, but I think I am getting the better of the spike trades for sure. And uh, I do manage to push him back, so we are gonna tie that, which is pretty good for us as long as like we can stay up. So you can see I managed to push Tyrant back, and he's gonna have to be playing into me now, which is a lot harder. So Spike, oh, he DCs here, <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's kinda, like, that sucks, but I don't know, like, I'll take it, honestly. I feel bad for him, but I don't know. I think I still had position, and he was, like, pretty much one shot when he DC'd, so I don't think it changed very much, honestly. Uh, but, you know, I'm not going to wait for him to regen. If I see someone DC, I'm just going to kill them. There's money on the line. Uh, so he's going to hit a good shot on me, but I think by this point, as long as I can get, like, one more bull, maybe, or no, we're probably good at this point, honestly. And we are gonna take game number one. So we did a pretty good job. And I think we got a little lucky that we got a tie there because tie was definitely the ideal situation for us. Even though we could have done a lot, I think a tie is just safer there, as long as we don't throw. So we're gonna take game number one of Siege. All right, guys, game number two of set four. So we are up 2 one, it's match point for us. Uh, now, I think both teams just run it back, right? So a lot of the times, like if I can take a mirror match against any team, I'll take it. I just really hate getting out comp. Out comp is just very bad. Um, so I can kind of hit some good uh, RNG on Tyrant there. I know he's going to be pushing up, so if I just curve it, like if I break it before like the wall, it'll hit him if he's like trying to push up, which he would be for like the bolts, unless like he's just waiting for my shots to go. Uh, so I get Tyrant pretty low there as well, but I just got to back off. We did manage to get the first bot, uh, so we can just play it slow. Zulin's gonna hit a nice curve um, and on Bobby, and you know, we're just gonna be like, I don't think the play there is to die to the bot also too, because now I just have like full position and I can just, it's really hard to come, like if you're Tyrant, 
on my lane right now, it's really hard to come because I can dodge like spike RNGs pretty easily. And I can also pinch uh, mid for Bobby. So I think he does the right thing here and he tries going more through mid instead of like just like the lane. But I also have super, right? So if he does overextend ever, I can just back him up with that for free. And my super is going to take out his gadget too, which is going to be really nice there as well. Uh, so here, the I don't know if this is the right play. I don't think it is. Uh, I should probably be on the bot here, but I don't want to lose my lane because we are up 5-1. And, um, you know, I think I do get pinched here, but um, I just wanted to stay there so I could, like, we would have one lane back. But uh, Tyrant is going to get position on me here. And he's going to get his super, so I decided to go through mid, uh, just like how he does, because otherwise it's just like losing, right? Uh, so I think I get Zulan there with two RNGs, yeah. So I'll take out Zulan, and I'll take out Tyrant as well. And that's pretty much going to secure us the last bot. Um, and we're just going to have to get, like, what, 20%? Which, I have Spike super, so it's like 10% almost by itself. Um, and yeah, we got a pretty thick bot coming, so we just gotta make sure we stay up to support it. I don't want the spike. Honestly, that super is kind of troll, but I think like at this point, it's pretty much given that we'll do at least 20%. Like they don't have the best defense, but uh, I don't recommend that super. But we do manage to win it. Alex very excited, and yeah, we'll beat Tribe in the semifinals and move on to the finals. Alright, guys, so that is gonna be it for the semifinals video of the ESL Brawl Stars. Uh, summer cup or whatever it is there's a fall version coming up so we're gonna be in that too but uh, really well played to tribe and you know shout out to Alec he uh, came he stepped up played pretty good overall it was a very good stew and yeah we're gonna do the finals video next peace <laughs>